Hi everybody, Big Hey EMD. This is part two of the actually uh, battery replacement on this GL 2007 GL320 diesel car. So I took the battery out, took the seat off here, just to do it properly. You can't. Some people can do it by squeezing everything out. And what happens is when people don't put, the, when they don't take the seat out like this, what happens is this wire here get pulled and they break. And this is the vent line. This is the vent breather line for the battery. So when the acid inside the battery start to rise, they develop a gas. And that gas got to go somewhere. So it's got to be vented out to the atmosphere. So what I found when I took the battery out, the old battery out, that hose was already broken. Just sitting there. So what I've done, I've got a T-piece, a brass T-piece, put it between the two broken hoses. So now I can fit the battery in and then put that on the battery so it's like, <clears throat> the actual gas can be the poisonous gas can be vented to the atmosphere because if you have a little baby or kids in the car if you don't have that connected pro properly they'll be breathing those gas and it's very harm very harmful for them all right so i've disconnected everything properly so i've got to clean the terminal see how dirty the terminals are see that that's very dirty so i've got to clean that clean the inside as well and this side here as well to clean that as well so Yep. Mm. You see? So now I'm just cleaning the terminals now. Be hard to clean, but uh, to try your best to put the wire brush in there. Because that's got to be very clean. Because anything to do with elect electricity, it's got to be very clean. Otherwise, you get a bad connection, especially with, the, especially with the, all the new cars today. They got a lot of computer, a lot of sensitive sensors, and if the connection is bad, everything is bad. And then you think you got a problem, but you got a problem with the car, but really, the starting problem. But really, it just come down to actually how much contact you have on the battery. So, if you look at that, see how clean that is now. See, and before, see so you get. Look at the gold. I can actually see the gold part there, a the brass. Before it was all green, so. This one here as well, gotta be cleaned as well. Sometimes it's hard to do, but if you can get 80% of the debris out of the terminal, and that's it. That's good enough. You're already 80% better than before. All right, we're gonna pause it there and we'll continue on later. Okay, I've connected the actual, the vent line there for the breather. See, now it's all connected properly now. The back to the bottom. Before, see the little brass there at the bottom? It's all connected. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a current draw. So, I already done one before. I'm just going to do a double check it again. So, negative go there. Negative there. And positive, um, the color of the leads doesn't mean nothing. But then, the positive go there on the post, for the negative post, but that's only a connector. You're going to have it the other way around, but you're just going to give a negative uh, reading. So now you can tell it's working. So I'm gonna turn this on. So it's running at 2.2 percent. Sorry, 2.2 amps. So I'm going to lock the car. I'm going to lock the car now. It should come down to 10 milliamps. I mean 0 0.02 or 0 0.03. Okay, now the car is locked. Lock it. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe how about going? Just wait up, wait up. I'm just locking the. Who is it? I'm gonna stew it. All right. Hey, there, sir. That's the man there you want to speak to. <laughs> Hi, mate. How you doing? The guy's coming next week to pick it up. Oh, sweet. All right, we're back now. So let me lock that again. Sorry, I had an interruption before. Okay, now it's locked. So we're gonna watch it until 
it should go down to 0 0.03 Oh, too much clear there, so It's going down, it's going down, 0 0.0, 0 0.8 It's going to keep going down, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 0 0.3 0 0.06 That's perfect for a big car like this So anything point between 0 0.03 to 0 0.06 You'll never have a you'll never have a, a flat battery. 0 0.01 even perfect. 10 milliamps is the best in the world for actually car and draw. All right, so we know for a fact that this car will never have a flat battery because the only problem was the battery before was not that uh, strong. All right, all sorted now. We're gonna put everything back together, put the seat back, and then go from there. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.